the things required for this are petri dishes, microscope cover slips. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. <laughs> microscope slides, filter paper. This is like giant because I screwed up the order. It doesn't have to be this big. You just need filter paper or you could probably use a tissue or a paper towel. Um, water. Brubaker quack solution. So this is the medium in which pollen will germinate. And it's sugar water with okay. some ions in it. Mm. Oh, okay. So and, it's not hard to make. No. And then and it gets really sticky if you get it on things because it's sugar water. And then um, pipette and tips. Mm -hmm. uh, you could also just use a dropper bottle because the volumes don't really matter. Okay. Uh, at this, at any stage, really. So, okay. So the first thing is to germinate pollen in a drop of this solution. It needs to be in a moist environment so that the solution just doesn't dry out. If this dries out, you'll get no germination. Um, so, what I do is take pieces of filter paper and place them in the bottom of the petri dish and get them fully saturated. Then you take your microscope cover slip and place one in each of your petri dishes. So one petri dish will have one sample um, and on top of the moist filter paper. Okay. So then I have a pipette set to 20 microliters. Um, the Brubaker Quack, it's always good to keep this in the refrigerator when you're not using it because it will reduce the chance of fungal and bacterial growth in sugar water, which is where they would totally want to grow. Yeah. Um, the other thing is to create this in an autoclaved okay. jar. That will stop reduce any of that, that chance. Too. So you put your drop of Brubaker Quack, I'm gonna do more than that, onto your cover slip. So I'm on this, it'll be basically 40 microliters, but again, Doesn't I don't think the volume really matters. You, you want it to be enough so that it's not the, like the tiniest drop such that it'll evaporate really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, that's the setup. Then we have to go down to the greenhouse to get the pollen. Mm 